Hey everyone, Irix guy here, uh, back again with another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Now, what I'm going to explain here is how to work with a project within Final Cut Pro 10 that has multiple audio sources. Now, in my case, I use a Canon XA10 camera. I may have two uh, two XLR mics, and you know, one may be handheld, both may be handheld. One may be a lavalier, the other may be a uh, handheld mic, the other one may be a boom mic. The uh, possibilities are infinite. And then also, you know, you may have an audio source in there as well. But So what I've got here, I've got a clip that I'm dragging into my Final Cut Pro 10 timeline. Now this particular clip, I had two microphones connected to the XA10. One was channel 1, which was a... Um, which was a handheld Shure P PG58 mic, and then channel 2, which is this uh, Rode mic right here, this, this video mic. So the first thing you're going to do is select your clip, and then you're going to go to the top where it says clip, and you'll say detach audio. Once you've detached your audio, you then want to select your audio only down here within the timeline. Once you've done that, you've got audio properties up here in this section where it says channel configuration. Whereas now it's stereo, what you'll want to do is select dual mono. And then after selecting dual mono, this little arrow right here points to the right. Now you'll see two channels, mono 1 and mono 2. And that's just indication that, uh, that you have audio present on both of your channels. So in my case, uh, channel 1 was my handheld microphone, my Shure PG58. Channel 2 was my Rode video mic. The next step you're going to take is go back into your timeline and control click with your mouse. When you do that, you then select expand audio components. Now what you see, you see two channels. You got mono 1, which in my case mono 1 was my handheld Shure mic because it was an XLR audio port 1 on my XA10 camera and then Mono 2 which is my Rode video mic because it was in port 2 and what I would do is I would select each one of these to make it easier and do uh, do your control click again and do rename component now this is Mono 2 so this is my road mic. So I'll just do road. You can call it whatever you want to. And then mono 1, which was my sure PG58. Nothing wrong with being perfectly descriptive. That way in future projects, if your recording equipment uh, may vary, when you look back at your project within uh, Final Cut Pro 10, you'll know exactly which piece of recording equipment you had. So now that these have been split, uh, what you can do, you can manipulate these uh, these audio channels independently. Like right now I've got Shure PG58. I can bump the volume of it down. And you'll see within the timeline the volume's going down. And likewise I could, you know, I can put it back where it was. And this is handy if you've got, say you've got somebody being interviewed. In this case, uh, it was myself with this Shure PG58 that you see there. But if you've got someone being interviewed and you still want to capture like the sound of the beach or whatever, you've got your secondary mic. So in this scenario, what I may would want to do is, uh, is decrease the, um, the audio of my video mic so that the person speaking is prominent. But it's just really an easy way to do this. I know this was kind of confusing uh, within Final Cut Pro 10 because it would seem that when you did split clips, if you had multiple audio sources, it would seem that it would automatically split them out, but Final Cut Pro doesn't. So uh, this is how to do it. I hope this video was of value. And again, subscribe if you haven't already. It's youtube.com forward slash guy and share this video and any of my videos with others. Y'all have a good day.